Now, Malna, in terms of charity, and we often have this conversation or this question that comes up, we we are asked when exactly does charity or the responsibility of giving to your family, for instance, when does that uh, stop? Because now you find that they there's nothing wrong with them physically. They are able to get some work, but they're just not working. And you've been giving them that kind of thing. So when does this particular charity stop? Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So a person gives charity to family. You, you share your wealth with the family. But now, no, no, look at zakah. The zakah is followed. So zakah can't be given to a person who is self, self-sufficient. It can't be given to a non-Muslim, unless for some particular reason. It can't be given to a, they call it in English, in psychology, a work-shy person. An Afrikaans, a vali verker. So you're healthy, you can go work, you just don't want to work because it, it is there's an easier way of getting uh, getting uh, wealth or risk into the house by just waiting for the family to bring. If you are healthy, in in in, in uh, I don't know, one book that was giving us the word is nice word, na? toxic charities, toxic khaftaha <laughs> sadaka, because you are you are disempowering people by always always just give and give and give, so you are not empowering them. At times, to say no is also a good thing, so that they can realize it is their responsibility to do earn something. Hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam: "Man ahabba lillah, those who love for the sake of, ab- of Allah, wa abghada lillah, or dislike for the sake of Allah, wa aata lillah, and give for the sake of Allah, wa mana lillah, and withhold for the sake of Allah, fakadistakmal al iman. His iman is complete. If you want to, if you want to teach him a lesson, do it for Allah's sake. That don't forever carry on." Reduce it proportionally until you don't give anything to that particular family again.